This is Jacob Arnold, your host for On the Ocean. When people think of food webs or food chains in the ocean, the first organisms they usually think of are sharks or whales. But people forget that bacteria have an important role in marine ecosystems, and their mortality is important to consider. Small zooplankton, known as microzooplankton, are important grazers of bacteria, but viral lysis is now recognized as the major source of bacterial mortality. Viral lysis is a process by which marine virus infects a bacterium to replicate its DNA and kill its host by making it burst open and release the virus's progeny. Viruses can target specific bacterial species with large populations. Importantly, viral lysis of bacteria releases nutrients into the ocean that can be used by other small organisms that are nutrient deficient. The Farrogen horse hypothesis is an example of this. A bacterium looking for iron, like Escherichia coli, is tricked into allowing Escherichia virus T4 to attach to it since the virus presents iron on its tail. Escherichia virus T4 replicates and kills Escherichia coli, and the virus's progeny are released with iron on the tails to continue the cycle of deception. Over the next few months, On the Ocean will introduce other marine viruses and their impacts on marine ecosystems. This has been On the Ocean, a program made possible by the Department of Oceanography and a production of KAMU-FM on the campus of Texas A&M University in College Station. For more information and links, go to ontheocean.tamu.edu.